Hi, I'm Painting Hyun from Painting Hyun's channel. Today, we are going to be painting beautiful, beautiful peonies. That is a king of the spring's flower, right? Look at these flowers that aren't blooming yet. It's a so elegant flower with plenty of petals, stems, and leaves. It's not blooming yet. Yeah, so many petals and stems. Some a little bit clocked stems there. Okay, opera, vermilion, magenta, permanent yellow light, and sap green, emerald green nova, ultramarine deep, brilliant pink. Those uh, colors I'll be used. Uh, a flower and that is emerald green nova and ultramarine deep for the base. My first step is washing the flowers part of the paper with a bit bigger flat brush. Apply water a few times nicely. Can you see the water uh, glistening on the paper, right? Yeah, so there are uh, a lot of water on the paper, right? And then I'm mixing brilliant pink and opera and vermilion. Apply the mixture of colors on petals as a first layer. Next, take a bit thicker the mixture of vermilion and opera. Put it on the lower part of the uh, petals and the tip of the petals and blend nicely. Lower part to top. I hope you don't get any stress for painting. Just to have a relaxed time with painting and drawing some sketchy yeah, with the art. For the next flower, I'm mixing now brilliant pink and permanent yellow light. I'd like to create various color of flower and shapes. So I'm painting the flower with yellowish pink. And then also I will use the process of the painting that I used in the first flowers. For this flower, I'm using a little bit um, strong color than before. In this painting, I place a main flower in the center and then I will focus on this uh, main flower. And 
Three of other flowers are placed the behind of the main flower. I will paint them with a light value of the color. What it means is that I don't want to make them to stand it out. Time to move on a main flower. Apply a bit water in the top side of the petal and take a brilliant pink and then put on petals one by one, blend nicely. For the second layer, I'm mixing Ofra, Vermilion, and Bright uh, Brilliant Pink, and then put on the tip of the petals and blend gently from the top to the lower part of the pattern. Blend nicely. Uh, from top to bottom, from top to lower area. For the third layer, I'm mixing these four colors. Touching a bit magenta, vermilion, opera, and brilliant pink. I'm trying to uh, same step. I'm taking a very thick, consistency color, put on the tip of the brush tip of the pattern. I'm using tip of the brush. I'm still using round uh, Da Vinci brush. And change your brush for doing some detail. So draw vines of the petals. Make a dark point in the tip of the petals. This brush is uh, the uh, pointed round brush. So the tip of the brush is very sharp.
Next, uh, I'm going to draw stem on with yellow and vermilion. Next, let's uh, paint the leaves. I'm going to mix in a permanent yellow light and sap green. And I apply the light green first and dark green on the leaves. And then some flower color put on the tip of the leaf. Move on to this glass base. I'm going to use Emerald Green Nova and Ultramarine Thief. And then first apply water the, uh, on the water part and uh, glass a uh, base part. This is Emerald Green Nova. I mixed uh, Emerald Green Nova and Ultramarine Deep. What I'm doing now, draw stems with the subgreen, mix ultramarine deep. I'm mixing saprine ultramarine deep and some um, I'm touching a magenta color so I got very strong thick um, yeah saprine for this color I mixed magenta saprine and ultramarine deep
and I'm touching the water so uh, the surface of the water I'm using ultramarine deep and very light watery color For the base bottom, so I am uh, mixing Ultramarine Deep and uh, Emerald Green Nova. Finally, uh, I want to do for background, so I'm washing, apply the water on the background area with big wash brush. I'm taking a flower color for a spreader technique. I'm using a mixture of ultramarine deep and emerald green nova for shadow.
there are too much water and colors so I'm taking out uh, from the paper and background with a little bit of the dry brush I want to draw uh, two lines on the background for some unique so and then uh, with a paper towel take some take out some uh, you know, dropped uh, water color water color draw two lines on the background because uh, background is a little bit boring so I drew two lines And I want to draw one more stems on the uh, base. I'm splashing again. Maybe this time is a last chance of the splash. If you make some uh, big, big uh, drops, you can take out with a clean paper towel. I'm adding flower color on the base. Here and there. I'm doing some detail for background and flowers. And today's painting is a bit complicated shape of a flower and so I let you know about this sketch that I will be uh, posting in my Instagram and Facebook. Uh, so my ID is uh, a painting hand. And I will link description box below. Okay, we are all done today's painting. Thank you for watching today's painting. See you next video. Bye.